Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, July 2nd, 2011. This week I've got your background series number 7, Tweaking Background Pattern Fills. Last week's tip illustrated a simple way to create a backdrop for photos and journaling using tags, journaling spots, or frames. This week you'll learn how to tweak the embellishments that you use to fill the background. Begin by opening the layer document you created using last week's tip. You'll have a layer of embellishments which is most likely called Pattern Fill 1 on top of a background layer. At this point, trying to work with any of the embellishments separately just moves the entire group. So you'll need to start by rasterizing or simplifying the layer. Here's how. Select the Pattern Fill layer and in Photoshop choose Layer Rasterize Layer. In Elements, you'll choose Layer Simplify Layer. This makes the embellishment layer editable. Now get one of the selection tools, like the rectangular marquee tool or the elliptical marquee tool or one of the lasso tools. Use whichever one fits the shape of your embellishments the best. Target the pattern fill layer and draw a selection around one of your embellishments. Next, press Control T or on a Mac system Command T on your keyboard. This activates the transform controls. You'll see a bounding box surrounding the embellishment. Dragging a corner of the bounding box resizes the embellishment. Dragging a side handle of the bounding box tilts or turns the embellishment. With the bounding box surrounding the embellishment, you can press delete or backspace on your keyboard to remove the element from the page. To move an embellishment, drag out a selection around the embellishment that you want to move. Press V on your keyboard and drag to move the embellishment on the page. To remove this selection, you can press Ctrl D on your keyboard or Command D on a Mac system. And remember that you can always undo an action with Ctrl Z or on a Mac system Command Z if you don't like the results. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.